Hey guys, this is Soul Rack 333 with another review. And here I have my McFarlane Toys, Gladiator, Batman, all touched up. So I already showed him before, unpainted, straight out of the box. And I just recently touched him up a little bit. And uh, yeah, brought out some of the details. I didn't do anything to the cape, I thought about it. Maybe I will later, but for now. I wanted to focus on the torso and legs. And uh, yeah, he came out very cool. And all I did was apply this line, this panel line. Uh, I think it's Tamiya. And, yeah, Tamiya. And oh man, this is very cool. I'm not going to do it right now, but yeah, very thin brush and just a little tap and it just seeps into all of the crevices, you know, and then if you want to dirty up the rest, just give it a nice wash and yeah, that's all that, that's all I did, just a little wash. So I did it in the axe too, so just one tiny drop and it just seeped through all of those lines. I wanted to keep the axe clean, but just give it that line paneling. And then the handle, that I dirtied up. That was pretty cool. I might give it a silver dry brushing, but that's this is all I wanted to do. It looks very cool. And it's not gonna show up much on this one. With this one, I just let it seep in between every little crevice, a little bit of stitching, and it's very subtle, but I think it improved this figure. I wasn't sure what to do with this, if I wanted to paint it or what, but I'm happy with just the line paneling. So, get ready to see a lot of line paneling moving forward. Here's the what is it, War World Superman. So this one, I just put it on the shield, on the edges and inside there, and then on his axe. So the outer edge doesn't have anything, so you can see the difference. And then I put it on on the handle too. I'm not gonna do anything with the figure. Not even the cape. I don't want to do anything because if I do something here, I know I'm going to get sloppy and it'll get on his skin. So I'm not going to bother. But definitely wanted to dirty up the shield. And I did it on the underside too. Now I did see some customizer use this head on the, I want to say the detective Batman, I don't, I don't remember the exact name, where he's wearing a trench coat. Put this head on that body and you got a Punisher. And it looked awesome, oh my God. So yeah, that's, it was perfect. But anyway, you got the Gladiator Batman and he will be riding on this steed. Now I also did some line paneling on the saddle. This was all brown, so brought out the bat single bat symbol there. The stitching. Dirtied up the belt. And Yeah, he's 
gonna ride this horse. And I was not a fan of this cape, but this cape drapes perfectly on the horse. Look at that. So, yeah, he's going to sit with this horse. That'll be perfect. up very subtle but very nice along with the dark knight horse maybe i'll touch up the cape i don't know i'll think about that there he is thanks for watching guys